Good morning everyone and happy Canada Day to all Canadians coast to coast. What do Canadians do on Canada Day morning? We have ourselves a delicious double-double coffee and we accompany that with a delicious Canadian breakfast sandwich. Let's get cracking! Fabio here from Cooking From Scratch. So let's dive into this breakfast, this Canadian breakfast bagel. I forgot to say Canadian. All right guys, it is Canada Day. So everything we do today is in honor of Canada Day. So we're gonna be starting off with our, again, we're doing a pea meal, classic pea meal bacon uh, bagel. All right guys? So we've got just some nice, nice uh, ingredients here. We've got our pea meal bacon. All right, we've got our egg. So there's gonna be a nice, uh, egg on this as well. We're gonna be cooking this egg over easy. I love my eggs over easy, but you can do it any way you want. You wanna do a scrambled egg, go ahead. You wanna do sunny side up, hey, whatever makes you smile on this Canada Day, all right? Uh, and then of course we have our additional toppings here, guys, for our breakfast bagel. We've got some nice iceberg lettuce, little slice of Canadian cheddar cheese, real cheddar cheese, guys, none of that fake stuff. Okay, of course we have our everything bagel here, which I'm just gonna be simply toasting in our toaster. Got some nice slices of vine ripened tomatoes. And I'm also gonna be adding a little avocado to that as well. I love that sort of that texture of the avocado in my breakfast bagel. So there's tons of different flavors going on. So let's get into it. All right guys, so we're gonna get started with our first components of our Canadian breakfast bagel. The first obviously is cooking off our pea meal bacon. And what is pea meal bacon? Well, listen, it's not bacon that comes from the belly portion of the pig. It's the pork loin. It's basically pork loin, all right, that's been, that's been uh, covered in cornmeal, as you can see here from the yellow there. All right, guys, much more leaner, all right, than the traditional belly uh, or, or the bacon that we are all sort of uh, accustomed to or associated with. All right, guys, so that's our pea meal bacon. We're gonna get started. And then uh, I, wanna be, I wanna be preparing my egg as well. So we're gonna be doing all the sort of the cooking components of it and then the assembly. All right, guys, so let's get started. Just placing some oil here in my pan. All right, now you don't, I, I guess with traditional bacon, right, because of the amount of fat in traditional bacon, but because I'm using a much leaner cut with our pea meal here, I'm going to uh, see, uh, just sort of uh, add a little bit of oil to my pan here. I've already got it nice and hot. Let me just increase that temperature just a little bit more. Perfect, you wanna hear that sizzle? And I'm using two slices of pea meal bacon here. You can use, obviously, guys, as much as you like. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but because they're nice and thin slices, two pieces should do just fine. Okay, and what we're looking for here is just a nice golden brown finish on both sides of the, uh, the bacon. Instantly, you can start to see that the bacon, as it hits the, the hot surface of the pan, it wants to instantly kind of just sort of release itself, okay? All right, so we're gonna get into our bacon here, as you can see. If it just, if it sticks a little bit, no big deal, guys. Allow it to do its thing here. This is where patience comes into play. You wanna make sure that you are giving the, the bacon the time to sear onto the one side and then sear on the other. It's so thin that it takes relatively no time to cook, okay? But patience is a huge factor here. And in this, the same pan of preparing my bacon, I'm also gonna be cooking off my egg. No need to dirty, you know, multiple pans here in the process. All right. And you can see here, I've got a nice little sort of golden brown. Okay, and that's what I'm looking for here on my pea meal bacon. Delicious breakfast sandwich here, guys. Honestly, easy to, to come together. 
Okay. I have a little towel here just for that oil that kind of just sort of dances off the pan. And again, let it do its thing, guys, in your pan, and then you move on to the next step. All right, so here we have, guys, our, our, our female bacon all cooked up. As you can see, beautiful, nice golden brown. Cooks up very, very quickly, guys. Uh, that's all we're looking for as far as the actual doneness on the bacon. You don't want to do it, uh, you know, crispier than that. Although, hey, listen, everyone has their own preference. If you want to go a little bit crispier, leave it on the pan a little longer. Okay, guys? So we're going to place that over to the side here. Again, as mentioned, in the same pan we cooked up our bacon. We're going to be doing up our egg. All right, just let me just swish around our oil there so that our pan is, again, well seasoned, okay? And ensuring that the egg starts cooking on impact there. Look at that. Season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, guys. I'm excited. And I just like to move my egg around a little bit here just to sort of loosen it up. All right. Beautiful. Look at that. Again, you don't want your egg sitting too long in your frying pan. You want to make sure that it's crisping up on the bottom or cooking up on the bottom, but doesn't get overly crispy. But again, if that's your thing, keep on going. Keep on cooking. All right, so as I mentioned, this is gonna be over easy. Take my egg here and just gently flip it over. Look at that. That looks wonderful. Now again, with over easy, you wanna make sure that, because I like that, that yolk still to come through, and you wanna, you wanna make sure that you solidify or cook up the top portion of your, of your egg there. Or don't do what I just did break the yolk. <laughs> so bring this over to our plate. Yolk is still intact. Okay, and there is our cooked egg, guys. So let me just set aside our pan here. Okay, so we have our components now for our delicious, okay, bagel, Canadian bagel. All right, and now all it is is just assembly. So, taking our, I'm using an everything bagel here, guys, everything bagel. Again, whatever bagel you want to use. If you don't want to use a bagel, use some toast, a hamburger bun, whatever, okay? So, I'm going to put this in our toaster, all right? Make sure to get it nice and toasted. And then get our, our plate here ready for plating. It really is that simple. Now, I'm going to be also adding in, all right, here, guys, a little sauce that I've just prepared here, a little combination of mayonnaise and sriracha. About, I would say maybe about 70% mayonnaise, 30% sriracha. You want that flavor of sriracha, but you don't want the sort of that overpowering or that excessive heat from the sriracha, okay? You wanna just sort of mild things a little bit or mild things down with the mayonnaise, but I like that little bit of sauce on there. Okay, so just waiting for our bagel here to cook off. Come on back, and we're gonna assemble our beautiful bagel. All right, so we have our bagel toasted, guys, and all we have left to do now is just assemble our delicious Canadian bagel. Let's get into it really quickly, guys. All right, because we don't want our ingredients, like the egg, typically, I mean, obviously at this point, you would wanna serve this nice and hot. So without keeping things, so I'm just placing on my sriracha here. So sriracha goes on first. I do this on the top and the bottom of my bagel. I like my bagel sase. All right. And then I'm going to place on here my egg. Uh, very quickly, let me just get my spatula here. So I'm going to get my egg on there. Okay. Beautiful. Get that out of the way. Then I'm gonna place my cheese. I like my cheese in between my egg and my bacon. All right, let me just use my hands here, guys. The best tools in the kitchen. Now, again, with layering your bagel or your, your, your sandwich here, no right 
sorry, no wrong. All right, you layer it the way you want. And then we can start placing on our other ingredients. Okay, I'm gonna be placing on my beautiful avocado here. You don't like avocado? Don't place it on, no worries. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, let me just place the extra right there. And then our tomato, our lettuce. Guys, my mouth is watering. Okay, nice slices of tomato, beautiful. Okay, oops. Let's just get that on there like that. And then of course, our lettuce. I'm using an iceberg lettuce here. You wanna use a romaine. You wanna use some arugula. Whatever you like. Okay, and then top it off with your top bun. Okay, look at that. I'm gonna leave that there for you guys to look at for just a quick second while I clean up my board. And then we're gonna be cutting this beautiful bagel up. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but just looking at this thing and my mouth is watering. So, okay, just cut down into that bagel. We're gonna open up this bagel just for you guys to see. Look at this, look at that. I got that yolk running down the bagel. Wow, guys, it is insane. Get this out of my plate. Okay. Talk about a crowd pleaser. Oh, okay, gotta get that sting on there. And somewhere on this bagel, on this Canada Day, we gotta honor this country that we live in, this beautiful country that we live in. Okay, let me just give my plate here a little wipe down. And there you have it. Beautiful, classic, delicious, simple. Guys, Canadian breakfast bagel, all right? I mean, I, 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 gotta, I gotta dig in here. It's amazing. So I'm gonna pull this in here really quickly, okay? I know you guys are probably wondering at home, is he gonna try it? Yes, I am gonna try it. It's Canada Day, why not? Right, so let me just pick up one of these halves. Wow, that's amazing, look at that. Again, you guys can, you can add as much of the ingredients as you like, but I think this is perfect. You can hold it in your hands. Can I get it in my mouth? We're gonna see. Okay guys, mmm. I got food in my mouth, but I'm speechless. I got no words, guys. Amazing. Listen, as always, know that the number one ingredient in our bagel this morning is right here. Love, all right? That's the main ingredient. But as always, guys, I wanna thank everybody for joining us here on Cooking From Scratch. And don't forget, all right? Feed your passion, keep on cooking. We'll see you guys on the next one.